the upcoming Mighty Network Spaces release will offer you more choices for configuring your network and improve navigation for your members. Watch this video for tips on how to prepare for this exciting release. I'm Marcia Chadley, here to help you be successful using the Mighty Networks platform. You may be wondering about this release. What's in it? What do you do to prepare? This video will explain what's going to happen in this release and how to prepare for a smooth transition. Currently, the Mighty Networks platform has three building blocks that can be used to configure a network. When members enter the network, they're in the home area, an area for interaction of all the members of the network. The home area also provides access to areas for small group interaction. Currently, those are groups and courses. Groups are a smaller version of what you can do inside the home area. Courses have those same features, and they also have an additional area, the table of contents, where you can put ordered content. And the table of contents is often used to hold course materials or even to be a resource library. Topics are available inside all three of these areas. They can each have their own set of topics. You can think of a topic as a cabinet. So there's a cabinet in each of these rooms, and when you open that cabinet for that particular topic, you see only the posts or events that are tagged with the topic. The navigation bar in a Mighty Network provides access to your groups and to your courses. There's one link that opens a page to all the groups and another that opens to a list of all the different courses. You can rename groups and courses. And in my network, I've renamed groups to be resources and courses to be programs. The Spaces release will provide more flexibility in the building blocks used to configure a network and in the options for setting up your navigation bar. The information in this video is based on what's been shared by the Mighty Networks team publicly. This release is still in development and changing. We don't know exactly what's going to be released. So we are going to look in this video at the high level view of what's happening and understanding that will help you prepare and be ready to transition when the details are available. Let's look at what's coming in the spaces release. There's three things we're going to talk about spaces, collection and topics. Spaces are going to be the new term for those side rooms in your network, what is currently a group or a course. You won't be limited to just what you can do with a group or a course currently, but you will still be able to create a space that has the same functionality as a group or a course. You'll also be able to create other types of spaces, other types of building blocks for your network. Maybe you're doing a course that's really a series of live events and doesn't need a table of contents. That could be a space. A space can be a single page. A space could be an event. And a space will be able to be added to the navigation bar. Collections are um, groups of spaces. So instead of just being able to have a page that lists all your groups or a page that lists all your courses, You'll be able to have a collection that can include any kind of space in it, and you can have any number of collections. Those collections can appear in the navigation bar. Topics are going to change around a bit. The topics that are currently in the home area are going to become, a, each one will become a space. Topics inside a current group or a course or in a new space area will be acting more like hashtags than they do currently. So they will exist to help you tag articles and you'll be able to have multiples of those. How can you best prepare to have a smooth transition when Spaces is released? The first thing is to have clarity, to have a clear understanding of who your network is serving and what transformation those people are going on. As the Mighty Network team says, your big purpose. It's also good to be clear on how you define and measure success in your network. The second step is to simplify. Each existing course, group, and topic in the home area 
is going to become its own separate space. Now is a good time to look at each of them and decide which is actively participating in that clear foundation that you've defined and remove the ones that aren't. These are the groups that I've renamed resources in my current network. I have a few of them that they really fit with my original big purpose, but as I've evolved my network and changed, they really aren't an active part of the current big purpose. Now is a good time for me to go in, close those down, remove the members, and either make them secret or totally delete them. The third step is imagine. Imagine how you would like things to be if you had more control and more flexibility. Look at each of your remaining groups, courses, and topics in the home area, and think about how you would reshape them. What would provide better member transformation? For example, would you add a table of contents to an existing group so you can provide them some resources? Look at how you might collect groups, courses, topic areas into a collection to help improve member navigation. I have a variety of different types of experiences in my courses page. Well, that's one of the reasons I renamed it to programs because it's not just courses. But in looking at what I have here, I can imagine having the registration and payment options become a collection and the different types of information in it each become separate spaces, being an, an article-like page. I think that would be easier for people to navigate and to know about. I would also transition the contents of how to work privately with Marsha into an article type page that's found right in the navigation bar. Make that easier to find. I have some more choices to consider. I'm thinking I may make a collection that's all about Zoom support and resources, and another one that's all for Mighty Network support and resources. And I'll put some of what are existing groups and some of what are existing courses into each one. So those are the types of things that I'm imagining when I look at my network. The spaces release will open new possibility for your network. While we don't know when it will be released or the exact details of what will be included, you can start preparing now and have a smooth transition when that happens. If you'd like updates as I learn more about spaces and get more comfortable and familiar with adjusting my own network, you, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, Chadley Creative Consulting, join my free network and CLC Neighborhood. You can also get support from me for your specific situation in a group setting inside my network in the online co-working space called the studio or through private sessions. Please reach out if I can help.